Lesson 2 File Management Organization of Data Learning Outcomes Moving or copying data from one drive to another Moving copying data between storage devices Working with multiple applications Searching files using wildcard characters like asterisks and question mark Various file formats Sorting files and folders Introduction you have already learned that the data in the form of any picture, document or presentation created on a computer is called a file. A folder is a bigger storage unit that holds multiple files and even a subfolder. Each folder has a name. A folder within a folder is called a subfolder. If files and folders on the computer are not arranged properly, it will be difficult for you to find a required file. So, you must organize the files and folders on your computer. Organizing the files and folders on a computer is called file management. File management includes viewing, copying, moving, deleting and restoring a file or folder. It also includes sorting of file folder by name, date modified, type and size and so on. Moving copying data from one drive to another drive. A computer drive is a piece of hardware that is used to read and store information. A computer usually has a hard disk drive located inside the CPU box. A drive is represented by the letters C, D, E and so on. To move or copy data from one drive to another, follow the given steps. Step 1. Double click on computer icon in Windows 7 or this PC in Windows 10, a new window appears. Step 2. Open the drive or folder containing the file or folder you want to move or copy. Step 3. Right click on it and select Cut Copy option. Step 4. Select and open the drive where you want to place the file or folder. Step 5. Right click on the blank space in the drive and select the Paste option. Note, you can use keyboard shortcuts for Cut, Copy and Paste commands. Ctrl plus X is equal to Cut. Ctrl plus C is copy. Ctrl plus V is paste. Moving or copying data between storage devices. A storage device holds data. A CD or DVD and pen drive are common storage devices. You can transfer data from a computer to a storage device. To move or copy data from one pen drive to another, follow the given steps. Step 1. Plug the pen drive into the USB port of the computer. Step 2. Double click on computer or this PC icon. A new window appears. Step 3. Open the drive corresponding to the storage drive. For example, F drive. Step 4. Select the file to be moved or copied. Step 5. Right click on it and select cut or copy option. Step 6. Open the desired location to paste the file and click the Paste option. Step 7. Safely remove the pen drive. Remember, to copy multiple files, select the desired files together. To select files that are listed next to one another, click on First File. Hold Shift key and then click on Last File. All files lying between first and last clicked will be selected together. To select files not listed together, you need to click on each file name individually while holding control key. Working with multiple applications. In Windows, it's possible to work on several programs at a time. Each program can work independently without any disturbance. For example, you listen to music and watch a movie. For this, just open one or more applications on the computer. Then minimize the opened applications and work on the one you want or open the windows, resize them, 
and adjust them as you desire by clicking and dragging technique. You can make use of Show Windows Side-by-Side -side option from the taskbar and Snap feature in Windows 7 and Windows 10 respectively. Searching files using wildcard characters. If you want to search a file or folder in your computer, then simply type the file folder in the search box and hit the Enter key. The file folder will appear on the screen. But just think, if you have thousands of files saved, you would not remember the exact name or location of each file. You can use wildcard characters for this. A wildcard character is a special character on the keyboard that represents one or more characters. It is used to search a file or folder whose exact name we do not know. There are two wildcards supported in Windows Search asterisk and question mark. An asterisk wildcard represents one or more characters. For example, a asterisk dot docs will search for all the files whose names begin with a and having extension dot docs like abc dot docs, ans dot docs, answer dot docs, amit dot docs and so Asterix.docs will search for all the files having same extension as .docs like amit.docs, batch.docs, class.docs, deol.docs and so on. Second, a question mark wildcard represents only one character and thus searches for only one character. Memo question mark dot .docs will search for files whose name begin with M followed by any one character and the extension as dot .docs like memo.docs, memo2.docs, memo9.docs and so on. B. A question mark question mark dot pptx will search for files whose name begins with A followed by any two characters and the extension as dot pptx like abc.pptx, ans.pptx, ask.pptx and so on. C. C question mark question mark small e dot docs will search for files whose name begins with C followed by any two characters and the letter E having extension as dot docs like care dot docs, code dot docs, came dot docs, core dot docs and so on. Note, wildcard character asterisk and question mark can be used in combination. For example, question mark dot asterisk searches all the files whose names begin with only one character and have any extension like a dot docs, b dot pptx. Various formats. The data in each file is organized and stored in a particular format or layout known as file format. Each different file has a different file format. The file format is indicated as a part of file name by a file name extension. File extension is also known as file suffix. File suffix are the group of characters which are separated by a period that makes the entire file name. File extension indicates the format of the file. For example, letter.docs file. Dot .docs indicates that the file is of Word format and it will be opened in a Microsoft Word program. Similarly, a file with an extension .html will open with a web browser program. Let's discuss commonly used file formats. Microsoft Word files dot .doc dot .docs PowerPoint files dot .ppt dot .pptx Microsoft Excel files dot .xls dot .xlsx Image files dot .jpg dot .jpeg dot .gif dot .png dot .tif Audio files MP3 WAV file Video files MP4 AVI HTML files htm dot html Sorting files and folders Sorting means arranging some data in an order. 
the sort by option is used to arrange the files and folders according to different parameters such as name, date modified, type and size. To sort files folders, follow the given steps. Step 1. Right click on any empty area of the window and select the sort by option from the pop-up menu. Step 2. Select one of the many available options. Name organizes the files folders in alphabetic order by their name. Date modified organize file folders according to their modification date. Type organizes files folders according to their file type. Size organizes files folders according to their file size.